Amnoon has really stepped up their security since the last time Commander! I was here. Commander! Hey! Timey! What are you doing in Amnoon? I decided to take a break from the lab and get back out in the field. I'm here to give you guys a hand and hopefully poke some stuff. Of course, I'm sure old Flunt and his flunky squad are probably combing through my dragon lab as we speak. Tiny. Anyway, Jory and I hitched a ride with Captain Keel and some trade envoys in her slow, floaty airship. This place really needs an Asura gate. Timey. Balthazar's dead. I heard! Congratulations! So what do we call you now? Dragon Slayer or God Stomper or what? Timey, focus. When Balthazar died, Kralkatorik absorbed most of his freed energy. Kralkatorik's even stronger and more dangerous than ever. Oh boy, that could seriously accelerate the Elder Dragon imbalance. I should run some worst case hypotheticals right away. You're lucky I'm here. And good thing I've got everything I need right here in Mobile Lab Scruffy 2.0. Excuse me, Commander. Chief Counselor Amon requests your presence inside for a small celebration to honor your victory. Sounds like someone's gotta go take a bow. Thank you. She's waiting for you now in the town square, sir. Everyone is. Eh, no rest for the heroic. Timey, I'll go and say a quick hello to the counselor. Then we can meet on the docks. I'll catch you up on everything there. You got it, God Stomper. Underlings. Perhaps now, M. A high commander. We heard the great news about Balthazar. I hope you don't mind my arranging this little celebration of your victory. It's an impressive gathering, Counselor, but my crew and I really must rest. Of course, I'm certain killing gods must be exhausting work, but I can't in good conscience let Amnoon's heroes leave until you've all been fed, fawned over, and properly fed it. Perhaps just for a moment. I understand you've met Grand Vizier Udumishi. He's been regaling us with tales of your close collaboration on this great victory. What? Him? Yes. The Grand Vizier deserves all the credit he can grab. I would not have had the use of Joko's troops if it were not for his eager insistence. When the truth about this victory is told to King Joko, I promise your name will come up as well. Oh no. Oh, no. Excuse me, I, I, I must go. Now. That's odd, and a bit worrisome. Udumishi may be a servile little weasel, but he moves in the highest echelons of Joko's government. But no, I won't let dark thoughts of that Lich King ruin this celebration. Today is about you, your companions, and your glorious victory. Actually, Counselor, I need to tell you the truth about what happened at Kodash. No, no, no. Save your honesty for another day. It's been too long since this city, since these people have had anything to celebrate, or heroes to embrace. They need this. They need you. In fact, citizens of Amnoon, raise your glasses in toast. To our heroes, who delivered us from Balthazar and restored peace to our city. Cheers! Cheers. Yes! Yeah. You're here! Yeah. Speech! Yeah. Speech! Yes, Commander. Those who owe you their lives want to hear all about your momentous victory. Or, if you'd rather take a few moments to relax, mingle, and enjoy the moment first, you can take the stage whenever you're ready. Of all the gods, I've always liked Balthazar least. As soon as I'm finished with this speech, thank you for encouraging anyway, them. I'm glad he's We've dead. got to gather everyone up and find Orin. Uh, it's embarrassing to think the Dragon's Watch has been reduced to dragon babysitting. You saw what happened when Balthazar died. Now we've got to go deal with an enraged, unpredictable Elder Dragon. All due respect, Commander. That's all I've wanted to do from the start. Well, you're about to get your wish. I just have to figure out what I should tell these people first. Any advice? What did Kanak say? I haven't spoken to him yet. Why? I just wanted to know which one of us you came to first. Seriously? Well, I think you have to tell them the truth. 
that the gods have abandoned them? That killing Balthazar backfired, and now there's a riled up crystal dragon somewhere on the horizon? Listen, if Kralkatorik shows his big scaly snout here, it'd be nice if these people were ready for it. But then, maybe what these people really need is a brief moment of hope and happiness before they go back to living every day in fear. <laughs> You've already talked to Casimir, haven't you? Sorry, Tribune. I'm not saying. <laughs> I've never seen an actual hero up close For before. the last time, I am not a grouchy cactus man, nor am I a giant talking choya. You urchins have the manners of a fifth-born. This celebration, it's all wrong. Tell me about it. They closed the casino for this little soiree, so I can't collect for my wager on you until tomorrow. Which means I'm stuck in this haven for giddy, singing, dancing humans for at least one more day. We Silvari are not, by and large, a giddy folk. We'll be out of here soon enough. Really? Unless I misheard, don't you have a speaking engagement first? Believe me, I considered just sneaking out. But I'm convinced Councillor Iman would just hunt me down. Might I suggest, when you do speak, that you avoid giving them the whole frightful truth while they're in such a party mood. On the other hand, I would also be wary of painting too rosy a picture. No reason to encourage their delusions of safety. We want them to stop this frivolous behavior and return to their senses when the morning comes. Just keep it vague. Nothing to get people too worked up either way. You just don't want them to close the casino again tomorrow. In my defense, it was a substantial wager. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll tell them. I just want to get it over with so we can turn our attention back to Aurin and Kralkatorik. Then remember, vague. You think before you guys pack up and head home, you could maybe do something about those we pesky owe you alarms? They're the worst. Mommy, is that the hero? I doubt you remember me, but I was in the pyramid. I hope my daughter grows up to be just we like you. Commander, good. To thank you, so We've got to get back out there and find Aurene. And figure out what to do about Kralkatorik. We just have to make a graceful exit from this celebration. Uh, by the way... You're not considering telling these people everything that's happened, are you? I don't know yet. Please. I've spent a lot of time around these people. I'm not sure that they could handle the truth about the gods or the Elder Dragons. Not after all they've been through. Can't we just give them one day? I suppose it is true that the most immediate threat is gone. Then let them keep singing and dancing and laughing. For today. Ah! Whatever tomorrow brings, we'll face it then. People of Amnu, please open your hearts and prick up your ears for the warrior who stood toe to toe with the wrathful god and how. <laughs> You call us heroes, but while you honor us, the truth is, this victory belongs to all of you. Balthazar betrayed everyone who revered him. Even the other gods rejected him. But you, all of you, stood up to him. And the four of us, all we did was finish the fight you started. Put an end to the nightmare. But Balthazar's death also stirred the Elder Dragon, Kralkatorik. 
It circled overhead, attacking the desert just like it did Ascalon ten years ago. When the smoke cleared, we saw it disappear over the horizon. But the immediate threat is averted. Balthazar is dead. His forged army defeated. Meaning tranquility in the desert. At least, for now. Yes! What? Can't hear you! Huh? Take this moment to celebrate the death of the nightmare that has terrorized your world. Hopefully, tonight you will sleep easier. But tomorrow is a new world. Without gods, and still plagued with elder dragons intent on reclaiming this world as their own. And we're the only thing standing in their way. So, a toast to this lull in the battle. Sleep well. Thank Wait. you. Uh, what? What do you say about the gods? In you retrospect, say what we say perhaps the speech was ill-advised. All the decorations, the food, and now no one's feeling festive or hungry. I apologize for ruining your celebration, Chief Counselor. Still, I hate to see it all go to waste. So, you and your friends, please, take some hummus. Now that you've convinced them the world's about to come crashing down around their ears, we should go. Well, you really suck the fun out of this shit. So, boss, what's next? I filled Timey in on everything that happened with Balthazar, Kral Katorik, and Aurene. First of all, about my killing Balthazar. You did what you had to do to save Aurene and yourself. And if it weren't for you, Commander, none of those people at that party would be alive right now. That's rather faint praise. Well, first thing we have to do is find Aurene. First thing is to hunt down Kralkatorik. Neither of those will help until we find out how to replace Elder Dragons. And, as usual, we'll probably end up having to protect all those innocent idiots who don't know how to stay out of harm's way. thinking it. So I'll just come out and say it. Should we try one more time to get all of Dragon's Watch together? After all this time, do you even know where everyone is? Well, one of them is right here. Jory! Kaz, thank the gods you're okay. Kanak told me what happened with Balthazar. I was so afraid I'd never get to see you again. To tell you that I... I am so sorry about the way we left things. I know. I know. Me too. I hate to interrupt, but did anybody feel that? Feel what? Oh dear. Tell me this is just normal desert stuff. 